Sirs, madam, welcome to Jurassic Park. You'll find a vehicle you can take to the visitor center on the road over there. Spares, get them from storage, not from one of the control panels. Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> Foreman's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hunt. This thing. T-Rex is 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm -hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. <gasps> you have a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Grant, my idea is up to that. Welcome to Jurassic Park.
Not had a chance, no. <laughs> oh man, it is great. Especially if you don't like goats. You'll find a great dino fat just down there. The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. Why don't you all sit down? Just one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA, the building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. Good day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. So I'm kind of trying attempting this. So it's not possible. This is one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. All right, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Come on, let's go. Ah. So these cages aren't going to be big enough. You can barely fit a goat in them.
better. Now we just add Cal. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel? for a meal. Sorta. Beef, huh? Oh, those raptors eat better than I do. Petite! What are they doing? Feeding them. The essence uh, of chaos. Transports for the afternoon. A driver. Oh no 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 driver. And they're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the oh. butterfly. The butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and Central Park. You get rain and stay Look at this. See, see, I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. Mm. 
They're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure. Tastes nice, Sarah. Oh, uh, if you ever meet my daughter, don't tell her I named a six ton dinosaur after her. Dr. Sattler, she's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us.
There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. Not far to the visitor center, Dr. Sandler. I don't fancy that I know chances of balancing on the trunk. We better make another way over for her. Isn't a bridge here? Hmm. <laughs> ah, heck. When that tree fell down, it took out the gate control panel. And I guess they took the car with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. Huh, where's the crank off the gate winch gone? I bet some greedy dino ate it.
Adler. This way. We can get to the visitor center through that hole. I told you how many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors. Right, Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis. <laughs> Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Go ahead, all of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Remember, viable embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, D-Stock.